Good morning. Welcome to the World Church of Messiah USA's November National Monthly Service. Please stand and pray along in silence for the opening prayer to God. O oh God, on behalf of your humble servant, we stand before you and offer our most sincere and humble prayer to you. You, who are the Lord of all creation, the one and only God, and our Father in heaven. You, who live and breathe at this very moment in heaven, that shines gloriously within the center of the consciousness of each one of us. O oh God, you are the presider of the grand ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah that took place on June 15th this year. Since then, as your divine work has continued to advance without rest, we, who came to know that the new heaven and the new earth exist within each one of us, gather here today on this auspicious day to hold the monthly service. O oh God, we praise you. We praise you who welcome the whole universe and everything in it into your new work of creation. Allow us, O oh God, to return the glory of your work into your hand. Allow us, O oh God, to revere the works of atonement and resurrection that you accomplished together with Jesus. Allow us, O oh God, to respond to the sacred word of Meshusama, the sacred word that says we will save the entire human race by working in concert with Christians. Allow us, O oh God, to return to heaven that exists within us and to surrender through the name of Messiah all thoughts and feelings that arise in our hearts and minds into your hand, thoughts and feelings that you already atoned for and forgave. Allow us, O oh God, to serve in the work of salvation through the outgoing and incoming breath, the work that is filled with hope and glory making all creation revive, and thus making all people be born anew as children of God. This year, O oh God, marks the 140th anniversary of Meshusama's birth. On the day we celebrate his birth, allow us, O oh God, to hold the service for the births of Meshusama and Jesus Christ with enormous joy. Ah, God, May all glory, authority, and blessing be forever yours. For you, and you only, are King forever and ever. Amen. Join us for the Goshinme, the chanting of the Divine Name. シンナルワレラの神守り玉へ先生えたまえ寿司なるワレラの神守り玉へ先生えたまえメシアの神守り玉へ先生えたまえ
メシアの御神守りたまえ、さびあえたまえ Anagara t a m a c h i a e Masse, Anagara t a m a c h i a e Masse, Anagara t a m a c h i a e Masse, Words of Prayer. God, I acknowledge that you are alive. God, I acknowledge that you are alive. Within me, you are alive. I thank you for nurturing me to be newly born as your child. May this blessing be shared with all. In the name of Messiah, which is one with Meshu Sama, I surrender myself to you. Please use me as you wish. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the authority, the glory, and the blessing are forever yours, God, you who are one with the name of Messiah. Amen. Hymns of Meshusama. Now it is an auspicious time when the Messiah who has overcome the world enters the city in the west. Ah, the light from the east will continue to spread further and further until it reaches the far end of the west. The people of Israel will cheer with joy. When the true Messiah, who they have long been yearning for, appears. Please be seated. The reading of Sunday Sama's message. Sunday Sama's message, excerpt from the sermon on December 22, 1984. What is Kyoshu? Regarding this, Nidai Sama has thoroughly taught us on the matter of the authority to teach. I need not say anything further about it. Over the course of seven years, Nidai Sama established our understanding of God and Kyoshu, setting the foundation of the church. Our understanding of God has properly been preserved and is as you see it today. On the other hand, our understanding of Kyoshu has sadly been distorted and remains distorted and incomplete until today. Under the pretext of protecting Kyoshu, everything has become executive centered, and Kyoshu has simply become a ceremonial position. In truth, they ignored beyond measure the human qualities of Kyoshu, where lies the wordless suffering and enduring patience of Kyoshu until today. The great purification we see now is the ultimate result of that. 
In that suffering, I keenly felt the arrangement and protection of great God, who behind the scenes is trying to revive our hearts of faith to the vibrant ones we had at the time of the founding of the church. I also felt the grave mission of Kyoshu. Meshu-sama, Nidai-sama, Sandai-sama, and from here on, the succeeding Yondai and Godai Kyoshu-samas who continue the bloodline. It is important that we truly grasp the meaning of this purification. What is the meaning of Sekai Kyusei Kyo's law of the spiritual preceding the physical? What can be found in the root of theism and atheism? Without following the divine order that Meishu Sama taught, will the defeat of atheism that Meishu Sama spoke so much about really be accomplished? It is important that you thoroughly grasp the essence of this foundation of divine work. If you do not, the power of the great divine work that enables the light of God to spread around the world next year cannot be established. I have no doubt whatsoever that this is what the church purification is for. Greeting from World Church of Messiah USA, President Igor Melcher. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. How is everyone today? Good. Good. Well rested for an extra hour of sleep? Yes. The clocks did change. But if we went to sleep very late, we don't really feel much of the difference, do we? Yeah. Thank you very much for coming. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about a lot of things. So I'll try to keep it short. But last month, um, I read the announcement we received on October 2nd. I'm pretty sure most of you remember that announcement. Right after that announcement, that announcement was regarding the observance of the holy days of our church, Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost now being part of the holy days of our church. And right after that announcement, we received one more announcement on October 16th. And before I share what I'd like to share today, I would like to share this announcement with everyone. It's very important. And it came directly from the Holy Seat of Kyoshu. So if you don't mind, I'll read it to everybody today. To all members around the world, from Yoichi Okada Kyoshu, Masaki Okada, successor of Kyoshu. Birth of the Messiah service, observing a major world holy day where the glory of the Lord shines. Not long ago, as we announced to all of you in regarding observance of holy days in our church, in the same way we observe significant events like the day of Meshusama's the day that Meishu Sama received the divine revelation of the transition from night to day and also held the provision ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah on June 15th and the day of Meishu Sama's birth on December 23rd, we will also observe the three major holy days of Christianity, Easter, Pentecost, and Christmas as holy days of our church. In the same vein, we noted that Meishu Sama's birthday service taking place at the end of this year will be celebrated for the first time in our church history together with the commemoration of the birth of Jesus Christ, Christmas. In line with this, Meishu Sama's birthday service taking place at the end of the year has been renamed to Service for the births of Meishu Sama and Jesus Christ. From next year on too, we will essentially carry out the service with that name. This year, 
in 2022 marks Meishu Sama's 140th birthday anniversary. Being an auspicious year, we would like to celebrate, together with members all around the world, the births of Meishu Sama and Jesus Christ under the following name. Service for the births of Meishu Sama and Jesus Christ, special ceremony to celebrate the births to celebrate Meishu Sama's 140th birthday service. On June 15th this year, together with all of you, we were allowed to hold the grand ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah, 68 years after Meishu Sama held the provisional ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah on June 15, 1954. With Meishu Sama's will in mind, when he said that World Church of Messiah will become extremely close to Christianity, that he wished to save all of humanity and lead it in the right direction by working in concert with Christians, using all his heart and soul, and that in the West there is Christ, in the East there is Messiah. If these two major forces work in concert with each other, one in the East, the other in the West, and if all members of the two powers diligently fight for peace, eternal peace will surely be brought about. We were allowed to pledge to Meishu Sama all together to serve that will with our whole body and soul. There was no greater joy for us than this. We are thinking about how the service on June 15th from next year on is to be named. For many years, we designated the service on that day as Paradise on Earth service. However, Meishu Sama himself never once actually used the name Paradise on Earth service. The last service on June 15th that took place under Meishu Sama's leadership was called the Provisional Cele Ceremony to Celebrate the Birth of the Messiah. When we think about Paradise on Earth, we know about the calligraphy that Meishu Sama wrote, Paradise on Earth exists in my heart, or Paradise exists at the center of my heart. And in the sacred word, the uniqueness of the salvation of our church, he said, to save people into heaven, you must climb up to heaven first and become its resident. Then you can pull everyone up to heaven and bring them salvation. He also said, it is more than clear that the will of God is to make a copy of heaven as the first step in constructing a paradise on earth. But let me say this, it is not only copies, but each human being also must become a resident of heaven, or rather, the time has come when a human being can become its resident. In other words, Meishu Sama dedicated his energy into constructing the sacred grounds and his purpose for that, as he said in his sacred word, was to have each and every single human being climb up and return to the heaven existing within each one of them and become a resident of heaven. At the same time, in his final years, Meishu Sama was born anew as the Messiah and showed us the model of a resident of heaven. It is precisely this Meishu Sama who should be called a prototype of paradise on earth. In 1953, that is, about a year before Meishu Sama was born anew as the Messiah, the construction of the Hakone Shinsenkyo sacred grounds was completed. In regard to it, he said, in this sense, the recent completion of the Shin Sen Kyo Paradise on Earth means that, at the center of the world, 
a paradise on earth has finally been born. That is, it is the birth of a paradise on earth. And it is most auspicious event since the beginning of the world. It will be commemorated as a major world holy day for all eternity. This day, June 15th, will be the future birth of paradise on earth service. The deep significance of the Shinsenkyo paradise on earth, July 8th, 1953. However, Meishu Sama did not stop there. In his own sacred word, he said, it is more than clear that the will of God is to make a copy of heaven as the first step in constructing a paradise on earth. But let me say this, it is not only copies, but each human being also must become a resident of heaven. As he said, the construction of copies, what we call the sacred grounds, is only the first step in constructing a paradise on earth. What Meishu Sama was truly aiming for, through and through, was for each and every human being to become a resident of heaven. And how mysterious it is. Just as the sacred word said, Meishu Sama himself left behind the first step of the birth of a copy, the completion of the copy, and went on to the second step. Meishu Sama showed us what it means for a human being to be born when he himself was born anew as the Messiah, when he was born as a child of God. Meishu Sama showed us how to go from the first step, the sacred grounds is a paradise on earth, to the second step, a human being is a paradise on earth. The birth of a paradise on earth service. What truly is to be born is not a copy, but a human being. In 1954, a year after the copy was born, Meishu Sama himself was born as a prototype of paradise on earth. One can gather the deep meaning behind why Meishu Sama chose to use the word birth in the name of the aforementioned service. What kind of existence is the human being that is born as a paradise on earth? It is the existence of Messiah, a child of God. That is to say, birth of paradise on earth service can be rephrased as birth of the Messiah service. This is precisely why he changed the service name to provisional ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah, which took place on June 15, 1954, after he himself was born anew as the Messiah, even though Meishu Sama expressed his wish to name the service Birth of Paradise on Earth Service in 1953. Of course, because Meishu Sama said, it is not only copies, but each human being also must become a resident of heaven. It is still not a true celebration if only Meishu Sama was born anew as the Messiah. Isn't this why he used the phrase provisional ceremony? If human beings, in other words, all of humanity, not just himself, can awaken to the truth, that humans are to be born anew as residents of heaven, that is, to be born anew as messiahs, the actual grand ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah can take place. With this fervent wish for us, Meishu Sama used the word provisional in provisional ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah. We cannot help but think like this. And this year, we who are allowed to realize this wish of Meishu Sama, even if belated, were permitted to hold the grand ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah on June 15th, as the day commemorating a most auspicious event since the beginning of the world. It will be commemorated as a major world holiday for all 
eternity. Now that our thoughts have gone to this will of Meshusama, we believe that for June 15th, it is no longer fitting to hold the service with the name Paradise on Earth Service. Instead, as Birth of Paradise on Earth Service is a service that commemorates the birth of the Messiah. Birth of the Messiah service is far more fitting. No, Meishusama is wishing for it. This we cannot help but feel. Accordingly, from the next year forward, we would like to hold Paradise on Earth service as the birth of the Messiah service. The grand ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah was a most auspicious event since the beginning of the world. However, Meishusama also says that this day will be commemorated as a major world holy day for all eternity. In other words, not only this year, but next year, the year after that, three years later, ten years later, one hundred years later too, all of us are to celebrate this day with grandeur, June 15, when the grand ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah was held. In regard to this service next year, as it marks the one-year anniversary of the grand ceremony to celebrate the birth of the Messiah, we have determined the following name, Birth of the Messiah Service, celebrating the one-year anniversary of the grand ceremony. The year after that, 2024, the birth of the Messiah service will be one that marks the 70th anniversary since Meshusama was born anew as the Messiah. If Meshusama was not born anew as the Messiah and did not announce that matter to us, World Church of Messiah would not exist now. Nor would we ever know about needing to work in concert with Christians. We would still be lost in wandering in dark, in the dark. We would like to hold the birth of the Messiah service in 2024 with deep gratitude to the one who saved us from that faith, to Meshusama, a child of God. We are deeply grateful that we are able to go forward with courage together with members all around the world, to the very fore, to the very depth of Meisha Sama's will. May all glory be to God. This is a truly exciting announcement. Not only because of the changes that are taking place, even though change can be scary and we are very reluctant to embrace change, but like Kirsama reminded us, in the very end of his message, right? We are being allowed to go to the very depth of Meishu Sama's will, the very essence of Meishu Sama's will. And that is truly exciting. Just this past week, during our weekly study, somebody posted a question, I believe it was during the Portuguese study, how can we work in concert with Christianity? That's a very good question, right? We've been reading about working in concert with Christianity. We hear in the prayers, we see all these changes. And the question comes, how can we work in concert with Christianity? And to answer that, I think we have to look at a few things. One is, a hymn from Meshusama where he shares, no matter how much wisdom and education you have, you can never grasp the depth of the depths of God's plan. Then there's another hymn of Meshusama that says, human eyes cannot see what lies ahead, not even an inch. Rely we must on God only, on his protection. What does that mean for us then, right? Human wisdom and education cannot grasp the depth 
depths of the depths of God's plan. So when we ask the question, how can we work in concert with Christianity? One simple answer is with our wisdom, with our education, with our understanding, it is impossible. Correct? Okay. According to Mesh Sama, it's impossible. We can't grasp that. All the more reason to understand why we have Kyosha Sama. Without Kyosho Sama, we would have never been able to realize the importance of working in concert with Christianity. Without Kyosho Sama, we would never realize what the birth of the Messiah means, what our mission is. Many people can share what Kyosho Sama is sharing and try to take credit for it. But it's impossible to truly grasp what Kyosho Sama is saying without Kyosho Sama. In today's sacred word, we heard Sandai Sama's message, our third spiritual leader. And she talks about this great purification our church went through. Right, this great conflict. And she explains that the very reason we are doing that is because we neglected who Kirshasama is. The very reason that got us to that point is because we didn't understand the core of our faith. On top of that, in the sacred words she shares, Without following divine order that Meishu Sama taught, will the defeat of atheism that Meishu Sama spoke so much about really be accomplished? It is important that you thoroughly grasp the essence of this foundation of divine work. If you do not, the power of the great divine work that enables the light of God to spread around the world next year cannot be established. I have no doubt whatsoever that this is what the church purification is for. She's alerting us, right? It is important that you thoroughly grasp the essence of this foundation. So I went back. And I looked at Misha Sama's sacred work regarding atheism, on atheism, right? Because Sandai Sama brought this up, talking about the essence of what Kyoshu is, right? So what is Misha Sama's view on atheism? For a long time, I believed that atheism were Atheists were people who didn't pray to God. So I conveniently put myself on the side of being a believer, a theist, and not an atheist. This is not what Mary Sama is sharing here. Right? What does it mean to truly believe in God? Mishama says, and I'm just taking a part of it, it's not the whole. Humans must understand who they really are. Follow and obey the natural world. And be bathed in its blessings. This, I say, is the wise thing to do. Right before that, he shares talking about us humans who are atheists. Have they no shame when they say they are going to conquer the natural world? They are nothing but fools who do not know their place. 
So Mishama is telling us that we must follow and obey order, right? The natural order of the world. And at the same time, because we don't do that, we are fools who do not know our place. That's exactly who we were. For a long time, we disregarded Kirsama, did we not? It became a ceremonial position like we saw in today's sacred work. A figure, a uh, Meishu-sama's descendant, very physical, right? Not realizing the essence behind Kyoshu-sama, who truly is working through Kyoshu-sama for us. Meishu-sama in this sacred word, he continues, if there is no God, Nothing exists, including, yes, you, the atheist. Is anything more obvious than this? If a human being does not understand this, then that human being must be an animal. For animals do not possess volition or wisdom. For a long time, what was it like? Were we not in this animal-like state, not accepting God working freely through Kyoshu-sama to bring us forward? Did we not manifest this animal-like qualities? We can see the result of that, right? Part, a group within our family took on and took possession of what they believe now is the sacred grounds, but we know it's no longer sacred, right? The gardens that Meshama had created. Kicked out the very sacredness of that. That is a result of our posture, of our attitude. Later, at the very end in this sacred word, Meshama shares, now my mission is to remove the animality from these animal-like humans and turn them into true humans. To this end, what is required, what is required the most is the demolition of atheism. What I'm working on, in short, is a project to reform humans. So here, Sandai Sama in her message to all of us, as we heard today, she says, it is important that you thoroughly grasp the essence of this foundation of divine work. If you do not, the power of the great divine law, divine work that enables the light of God to spread around the world next year cannot be established. The core of this work is to remove the animality that exists within us. To work in concert with Christianity we believe that we understand what that means. And that's where we mistake. We can't grasp what that means. It does not mean to become Christian in the sense of Christians today. Meishu Sama says, what he is doing can't be understood by conventional religion, is it not? It's something completely new. So to have the answer to that, it's not outside of the church. It's not by other theories and ideas. We have to seek the answer from the source. And that is only through Kyoshu Sama that we can do that. Kyoshu Sama is guiding us on how to work in concert with Christianity. Kyoshu-sama is leading us and showing us what that means. 
these changes, yes, they are that, right? To work in concert with Christianity. But the truest sense of what that means. When these changes of the holy days of our church were announced back in the beginning of October, as I shared during the service with everyone, at the very end of that first announcement, Kirsama and Masaksama shared the following with us. Let us not simply celebrate these days. Let us take one step further and bring our thoughts to the very mystery within a mystery. The hidden will of God embedded in the birth of Jesus and the birth of Mishasama. We're not just celebrating like everybody else. We're not doing just a commemoration. We're being allowed to know, to come to know the hidden will of God that with human eyes cannot be perceived. Can you grasp how wonderful and what a blessing this is? Don't get caught up on the words that you think you're understanding. The hidden will of God embedded in the birth of Jesus and the birth of Meshusama. For the first time in our church, we're being allowed to know that hidden will. To come to know what Meshusama meant when he declared he was born and he was the Messiah. To come to live in that will of God, that joy of God. That's truly exciting. And we are blessed for it. So to work in concert with Christianity, if it's not clear, is to follow Kyoshusama. Meshusama's true meaning of Christianity, the only person revealing that is Kyoshusama. You think you understand Christianity according to what Mishusama says? And I guarantee you're probably wrong. Scratch all those ideas. Put that aside for a second. This is something truly special that we are receiving from the Holy Seed of Kyoshu. So it comes to one point and one point only. Accepting Kyoshu-sama. You want to know how to work in concert with Christianity, you need to accept Kyoshisam. That's simple. There's no other way to do it. If you don't accept what Kyoshisam is sharing, how are you going to know how to work in concert with Christianity? It's not about knowledge. It's not about human wisdom. It's about accepting. We are talking about God's will being shared with all humanity. For a long time, we take everything that we hear, we put it in human terms, analyze it according to what we like, what we don't like, what we understand, what we don't understand. And that is the very reason why we can't even see an inch before our eyes, as Major Sama shares. We lie, we must, on God only, on His protection, as Major Sama says, not who is guiding us on that will of God and Meshusama? Is it not Kyoshusama? So rely, we must only on that. We don't need to come up with a way to do it. We just need to do what we're being asked to do. It's very simple. Faith is pretty simple in that sense. It's not about what we want. It's about what's being asked of us to do but we put ourselves in front of that. And we trouble ourselves and we complicate things. And we suffer. And we suffer and suffer and suffer. That's atheism. That's not believing. That's not making the church better. It's not making God's will better. It's putting our will in front of God's will. We suffer. 
that is very animal-like. We have volition, do we not? As Mish Sama says. We have wisdom, do we not? Truly wise is to follow what God wants. It's simple. I read this part of Mish Sama sacred word again because it's really amazing. Humans must understand who they really are. Follow and obey the natural world and be bathed in its blessings. Be bathed in its blessings. Follow. Maybe someone's not saying here we should interpret it. We should fix it. We should guide it. We should do it our way. Where is that in the sentence? It's one sentence, right? Humans must understand who they really are. Who are we? Isn't that what your son is showing us now? We are children created in heaven by God who need to become his children once more. He's showing us who we are. Is God not always present? Is God not seen through everything? Is he not the one controlling everything? Then why are we trying to control it? It's very simple, right? This, I say, is the wise thing to do. May someone say, human, truly wise human, is the one who accepts this truth. So, I mean, I love our studies and I love the questions because it puts me to reflect. I'm not saying that the question was a bad question. It's a very good question. But we need to clarify to ourselves who Kyoshama is. The very fact that this is part of today's service as a sacred word, you know, I believe it's because we haven't grasped what that means yet. Because when we do, as Sunday Sama says, then God's true power will start manifesting. So it's a really exciting time to be a follower of Meishu Sama, to be allowed to follow Meishu Sama through Kirsu. Because that's where Meishu Sama's true will is being manifested. And with that, we have one more amazing announcement that came out very quick. It's not in full yet, the message, but it did come out on Instagram. And for those of you who have been following, which I know many of you have, must have questions in your mind, right? So, we received a very special announcement from Masak Sama on the November service. And that part of the announcement was translated in the service. And I'll read it to you. And he says, Today, on November 1st, 2022, in the name of Kyoshu Sama, that is, in the name of Meishu Sama, and in the name of Jesus, I hereby declare the initiation of the construction of World Church of Messiah's sacred grounds here on earth. From Masak Sama's greeting on November 1st, 2022, November monthly service. Is official. Right? Construction has begun. But I want to bring you back to the point we were discussing just a little bit. We have many ideas of what those sacred grounds should be. Put them all aside. Forget them. For now. We're not the ones being the architect. Accept it. It's a blessing. However it's going to come, I have no idea. I don't have the answers for that. But we don't need the answers for that right now. The meaning of that, Kirsam is clarifying for us. Masak Sama has been clarifying for us, right? Let us study the messages. Let us receive those messages. Because there we will find the meaning behind and behind of that the deeper meanings God has for us. So let's receive that. That's my only thing I'd like to share with everybody. It's great news, but it's great news because the true sacred grounds is already being manifested within each one of us. And now we have a place, right? That, that will be expressed. So it's wonderful news. 
and really excited about it. With this in mind, right, as we can see in this world, the physical aspect is important, right? Many of us today, because it's become very convenient, we can say, oh, I can participate in the service from home, right? I don't need to go all the way to church. But there's a reason that God created the physical form. There's a reason for that church. So it's very different to come here and pray and then watch from home from our phone. Of course, for those who are far away, those who can't physically be here every service, we have that. But maybe someone talks about praying in group, right? Coming to that location where God is calling us to pray. Even to come, it's by God's permission. It's not something that we can do out of our own volition. So if you're here today, you've had permission to come. But to receive that permission to come is very important. And with that same song, we are having our pilgrimage to Japan this year. So it's been announced, right? I didn't officially announce it in video, so I'd like to officially announce it in video for those who would like to participate. We are going to Japan to pray and be with Kyoshi Sama during the service, the most sacred moment, right? Where Kyoshi Sama is, Meishu Sama is, right? That is the true holy ground, right? And to be able to be a part of that physically is very special. It's one of the very reasons why I believe it's not life, right? It's a physical presence necessary. God is working through that as well. So we're creating this pilgrimage. I like to invite members of Royal Church of Messiah USA to participate. If you haven't spoken to and would like to participate, speak to your church representative because the uh, deadline for sign up is about a week away. Okay, so uh, reach out and we can arrange that. But with that spirit, right, seeking to receive from God what he prepared for us on that day and serve God through our thoughts and feelings. So it's a very exciting time. Uh, many things to be truly grateful for. We have Thanksgiving coming up. So uh, I believe that more than ever this year, my true gratitude to God is for having Kirsham in our life so that we can truly fulfill our will. Um, just so you are aware, uh, there's been a little bit of change in the names of our services to align ourselves with the service in Japan. So November, we have the National Monthly Service, as it's been, right? But it is Thanksgiving month. However, in December, in Japan, we celebrate the Harvest Thanksgiving Service, right? It's a day of gratitude for the harvest, Harvest Thanksgiving Service. So to be in unison with Japan and with Kirsama during the prayer, our service in December 1st, I'm sorry, in the first weekend of December, will be the Harvest Thanksgiving service. Okay, so you don't get the two things confused. <laughs> we have Thanksgiving this month, but the Harvest Thanksgiving service we will be celebrating in December. And then Meishu Sama's birthday service on December 18th, okay, of this year we'll be celebrating. Two services in December, okay? So Meishu Sama's birthday service, we're preparing uh, a little bit different, a little bit special. It's not Meishu Sama's birthday service anymore, as I read in the announcement, right? Uh, the official title, and I apologize because I haven't memorized the whole thing yet, is a service for the birth of Meishu Sama in Jesus Christ, special ceremony to celebrate Meishu Sama's 140th anniversary. That will be done on December 18th. Okay, I look forward to participating in this most special event that's being celebrated for the first time in our church with all of you in person on that day. All right? Have a wonderful day. May all glory May all honor be returned to God always. Thank you very much. We will now have the presentation of Handel's Hallelujah Chorus by our church choir in Japan. Chorus Messiah, 一般の部によるメサイヤハレルヤコーラスを聞いていただきます。
This concludes the November National Monthly Service. Thank you for joining us. Please stay tuned for the music, Ieji, Going Home. <laughs>